I'm going to talk a little bit about the data type option set today. So what's an option set? Well, an option set is simply a pick list, is another word for an option set, where when you click on a field, um, there's a drop down and there's a list of commonly selected items. This might be a good idea to use if you have a spot where maybe you were considering putting a single line of text but you know that people put in the same thing every time and if you want to do any kind of reporting and people misspell or they put slightly different versions of things like transportation trucking or transportation or trucking or whatever but you want them to always pick for example transportation um, an option set is a great possibility for you so when I'm on a form if I create a new field the second option on the type is option set. And you can select to use an existing an existing option set if you already have a global option set where across multiple different entities you're going to have the same selection values and maybe you want to push that data across from a lead to an opportunity um, or, for, or from an account to a contact or vice versa. But in this case, we only want this option set to show up on the account. There's no need for it to show up on any other entities in our CRM system. So we're going to pick um, no on use an existing option set. Uh, we don't have any values in, so let's start with that. Let's say that we're trying to track how the client or prospect or the account likes their meat cooked. Um, cooking temp. So we're going to call it cooking temps um, and we're going to come down here and we're going to add rare as our first option. Medium rare. Medium An important thing to note about option sets is there's a label, but there's also a value. The value shouldn't be changed uh, after it's been created, but the label I could come back and I could change. But you should know that once this field has been created, if multiple users have selected rare in the past and you relabel it, uh, it's going to change it everywhere in the CRM system. So, for example, you could change rare to bloody and that wouldn't be a problem because rare is the same as bloody. But if you changed it to burnt, now everywhere that someone has selected rare in the system, it's going to show as burnt. That could be a disaster and you could really screw up your, your data structure. So I would set this to bloody. And as you can see, when I click away, my rare in my list turned to bloody. And then I have this item in here, maybe I'll add in burnt or charred or whatever. Um, and I can click out and it creates burnt for me. Now let's say that for some reason um, well to me means more done than burnt even. I can reorganize my list and I can move my well done up and I can move my well done down and now that I have multiple values in there I can come back to my default value and I can say that you know what rather than forcing um, someone to select this field every time uh, most of the time people select medium well. So I'm going to set that as the default value so when somebody goes to a form it'll automatically load in as default value and it'll be up to the user to change it away from medium well. I can also sort by sort alphabetically in this case that doesn't make any sense. Um, I can also come back and I can delete out options. Now it's important to understand that when you delete something out you'll never get to use this value again so if you wanted to re-add bloody, you would have, after you've deleted it, you would have two disparate bloody entity, or two disparate bloody records. One that would be this 100 million, and then if I added, deleted it and re-added it, there might be 100 million and 10, and in any reporting, you would have to then merge it. So be really careful about deleting records or deleting options inside of an option set because it's going to be it's going to create issues for you re-adding it later.